Hi everybody, everybody I'm back. Everybody, Judy Young is back and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. Today I'm gonna show you all how to make a double fudge chocolate cake and listen here. This cake right here is so moist. It's so flavorful. It's packed with chocolate. If you are a lover of chocolate, you are going to go nuts over this recipe. It does not require a lot of ingredients and listen here, it tastes so good. Here's what you'll need to make Gina Young double fudge chocolate cake. You all never had this before. You better make you some. Okay, everyone, it's Friday evening, and you want to have a perfect dessert to go alongside of my mixed greens, my oven roasted chicken, those mashed potatoes, and that cornbread. You have to finish it off with a beautiful dessert. So today I decided to do the double fudge chocolate cake. You all that know me and that are familiar with me, you know that I absolutely adore box cake mixes. You know, they're really no hassle. You just kind of throw everything in, mix that bad boy up, and there's a promise that they're gonna turn out moist and perfect every time. That right there is right up my alley. You better believe it is, and it's quick and simple. Shoot, that's what I love. Okay, so here's what you'll need. We have some chocolate fudge, we have chocolate fudge cake mix. Any type of cake mix that you wanna use would be just fine, but your ingredients on the back may be different if you use a different box, okay? This cake mix calls for one and one fourth cup of water, a half cup of vegetable oil, and three eggs. And then I always like to put extra vanilla in, so we're gonna do just that. Now, I like to use the milk chocolate creamy home style frosting. We always want to give it a nice um, stir before we use it. First thing that I want to do is make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's go ahead and crack the eggs and get those out of the way. What I like to do is I like to crack the eggs in a separate bowl always because you don't want to risk cracking the eggs into your cake mix and then you have to throw everything away because, you know, maybe you had a bad egg or maybe you got um, eggshells in your cake mix. So to prevent that, just crack it in a separate bowl. Really, it's that simple, okay? I hope that you all are having a great weekend. The weekend is here. Is anybody doing anything special? Let me know in the comment section. I love when you all tell me what you're doing for the weekend. It's really neat to hear all the different things that people are doing for their, you know, their days off. Okay, so next what I'd like to do, before we even get started, I'd like to go in and oil and flour my pan. Um, if you have the spray, they have the spray with the oil and the flour, to make sure you spray your pan so that you don't have any issues getting the um, the cake out of your pan. So I just like to take a little bit of paper towel and distribute the oil all over, even up the sides of the pan just like so. And then we'll go in and shake the flour all over the cake pan as well. Really quick and simple, right? Just like so. Those, those mixed greens that I did earlier, I did the video for it earlier. If you haven't seen it, feel free to check it out. Those greens are absolutely amazing. I just uploaded the video, say about, I don't know, maybe it's been a half an hour ago. I had three bowls of those mixed greens. They are so delicious. When I tell you delicious, whoo -wee, trust me when I tell you this. My goodness, check the video out if you have not seen it. Okay, so now that I have the oil in our pants, I'm going to sprinkle lightly flour, okay? And then we're just going to kind of shake it and you hit it just to evenly distribute that flour all over your pan. Whatever's left, you can shake it into the other pan. Okay? That's pretty simple, right? 
Make sure you shake the excess off, just like so. Okay, everyone, so then, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start our cake mix. I've opened up the cake mix contents, and we wanna get those down in there just like so. And the key to a nice, fluffy, moist cake is you wanna whip some air into these eggs. Take the time to whip air into the eggs. A lot of people, when they mix up their cake mix, they don't give the eggs enough time to get air whipped into them. Okay, so I'm gonna put some vanilla in. How much? I'm just gonna put just enough because I love vanilla, that's beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna put that one and one fourth cup of the cold water. Make sure that it's never warm or hot water. And then I'm gonna put a half a cup of vegetable oil, just like so. Now, if you wanted to lighten the cake up a little bit, you can replace the vegetable oil with a half cup of applesauce, unsweetened applesauce if you'd like, just like so. And next, we're gonna go in and blend it. Be careful because if you start this up on high, you're gonna get a big poof of flour in your face and that's not gonna be funny. So, start it on low. You don't have to have a stand-up mixer to do this. You don't even have to have a handheld mixer. You can mix this up by hand. You better believe you can. You can mix that up by hand and a nice whisk like this will do the trick. If you haven't preheated your oven to 350 degrees, please do so. That's the temperature that we're going to cook this cake. I'm going to start it on low, and then we'll work our way up to a higher speed. And then we're going to take our time. You have to take your time to scrape down the sides. This mixer does not have the scraper that comes with this, so I'll be stopping this a few times with the soft spatula just to go in and make sure that everything is well incorporated. I'm going to turn the speed up a little bit, just like so. You can see how the sides are not fully incorporated, but that's okay. I'm going to make sure that I get all that goodness mixed in. I cannot have that beautiful dinner that I'm serving today with that. I cannot have that dinner without the beautiful dessert to serve alongside. I'm going to turn my speed up a little bit. Time to whip some air into those beautiful eggs. It smells so good. If you all love chocolate, you are gonna adore this recipe right here. You better believe you are. Okay, we'll go ahead and stop it for a second. Now's the time that I can go in and scrape the sides, and there's quite a bit that hasn't been fully mixed up. So I'm glad that I'm doing this. Get the bottom as well. Sometimes the bottom doesn't always get, you know, fully incorporated, fully mixed up. Okay, let's get this side that I spoke about earlier right here. Get all that. It smells so good. If you wanted to, you can put just a little tiny bit of espresso in here. Whoo wee! Put you a little bit of coffee in here. Mm, mm, mm. It really brightens up the flavor of the chocolate. Try it one day and let me know what you think. All right, just like this. Okay, I'm gonna scrape this down so that I don't waste any of my beautiful batter. We're gonna mix this around for maybe one or two more minutes and then we're gonna pour it right into our circular baking dishes. That right there will do the trick. Beautiful. Now that that's all done, we're gonna go ahead, bring our baking pans into the equation, and you wanna fill both of the baking dishes up half the way. You don't wanna fill them up all the way to the rim because remember, they're gonna rise, okay? You only need half in this one, half in this one, and they'll rise right up to the top, okay? I'm going to give this mixing bowl and this whisk to Dakota. When I was a kid, I could not wait to get the beaters 
in the bowl so that I could lick it. And I do it with my kids and some of you say, oh no, Dina, don't do it. There's raw eggs in there. I'm still alive, guys. And I still lick the bowl myself. <laughs> I still give it to my kids and I'm not gonna stop. <laughs> if you wanna stop, then that's fine. <laughs> For each his own, right? You better believe it is. All right, so then. Let's go ahead and start to pour this amazing cake batter into our pans. Okay, everyone, let's get to pouring. Let's see, I'm left-handed, but I do wanna show you all exactly how much I'm gonna pour into each one. That's enough for that one. Then if we need a little more, we'll pour a little bit more back over there. Just like so. And make sure that you have a cooling rack. That cooling rack will allow your cake to cool without getting soggy at the bottom, okay? Let's put a little bit more batter into this one. And then I'm gonna show you something that I like to do with my cake stand and the wax paper or parchment paper because we're going to have to, Dakota, you want this baby? Yes, please. Come on. I think I'll taste it myself. Oh, it's so good. There you go, honey. Ooh, thank you. You're welcome. Um, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> Somebody remind me in the comment section. <laughs> now what you wanna do, once you get your cake pans filled up, you don't want to let it set it set around. Go ahead and get it in the oven on the middle rack. You don't want to put it on the top rack. You don't want to put it on the bottom rack because if you put it up too high, it'll burn on top and the middle won't get done. If you put it at the bottom, it'll burn. Put it in the middle rack and you'll be set. Around 33 minutes, but I'll let you know exactly how long this took to cook. Okay, so what I like to do this is my cake stand here. At the bottom, you can use this part if you were doing, um, if you wanted to carry cupcakes. And then here's the top that you can just carry, you know, just like so. And then you snap the bottom on, okay? This att attaches to this. So then what I like to do, since we're going to ice, If you want to take some parchment paper, you can use wax paper or even aluminum foil if you'd like. I'm going to take some. It doesn't have to be perfect, okay? And we're going to put four pieces just like this. And what this will do, this will prevent you from messing up your cake stand with icing. And when you pull this away after icing your cake, this will be nice and clean, okay? Now it may fall off right now, usually like it does, but that's fine. Because once you put your cake on there, it will stay in place, okay? So I'm just folding up two more pieces, pull it apart just like so, and have that ready. So when you ice your cake, you'll be ready to go. Okay, everybody, so you can see that our cakes came out of the oven cooking on 350 degrees. Now, what I wanna do, let me grab a butter knife. I always like to go along the side, just like so, just to kind of loosen up your cake so you don't have any issues when you go to flip it, okay? Do that with both of your cakes. And then we're just gonna flip these right onto that cooling rack that I spoke about earlier. So our cake will have a chance to cool properly without getting soggy on the bottom. And really, only thing that I'm gonna do, I'm literally just gonna take the cake, flip that bad boy, and it's gonna come up just like so. Really quick and simple. Okay, don't worry in that kitchen. Everything that I can do, you all can do as well. Now, what I'm gonna do, I wanna let these cakes 
cool down for a few minutes before we start to ice them. And of course, we're gonna turn them upside down, okay? This is the bottom part. Okay, so you can see where I flipped the cakes back over to the proper side. And you can see that I'm using a rubber spatula to hold on my parchment paper because once the cakes get nice and cool to where we're ready to ice them, you cannot ice your cakes if they're even a little bit hot, okay? You don't wanna ice them even if they're warm because your icing will totally melt and we don't want that to happen. Let this cool down all the way and you can see I have it on the cooling rack and this right here is my cookie sheet, okay? Once they cool down, we'll set them right on top of here and start to ice those bad boys. Okay, everyone, now we're going to take our beautiful cake, be very gentle, set it right onto your wax paper or parchment paper, whatever you're gonna use, okay? Make sure that cake is nice and cool. I let my cake cool for it's been about an hour. What I like to do, always like to give it a nice stir. Mix it up, get down in the bottom and on the sides, and then you wanna put you some uh, icing smack dab on top. Now, if you have an offset spatula, that would be preferred, but if you don't, it's okay to use the back of a spoon. It's okay to use a butter knife. It's okay to use a rubber spatula like I love to use. Rubber spatula really works for me when I'm decorating a cake. And by all means, I'm never saying that I am a cake decorator. But I do know how to ice a cake. <laughs> you know? <laughs> all right. So here's that. I'm going to scoop a little bit of that icing and just set it right on top of my other cake because I have a little bit too much, okay? You do the same thing. If you put too much, just take some of it off and put it on your other one, okay? See this? Beautiful. This right here is gonna be our filling for the middle. Now we're gonna take this cake. We're gonna be very gentle. You'll know how to be gentle. Put that right on top and then we're going to do the same thing. We wanna mix this around, make sure this is setting properly so that it doesn't go slipping and sliding. We've all had our dinner here at the Young's house and it was so delicious. I'm so excited for my night. Me and my husband are gonna spend some special time together. We're gonna do something special. And then after that, we are going to watch some Netflix, and I'm excited about that as well. I am a sucker for a good, scary movie. So hopefully tonight we can find a nice, scary, scary movie that's gonna scare me out of my seat. Okay, here's what I like to do. Ooh, I taste the icing, it's so good. I just kinda go in. I just go in and I start smearing it just like so, be gentle, and then we're gonna do the sides as well, okay? In this manner. And all that icing that you get on the paper, it's okay, because we're gonna pull that away, and then underneath, your stand will be nice and clean, okay? I'm going to continue to ice this beautiful moist chocolate fudge cake and when i come back we're going to say a prayer over our beautiful cake we're going to slice down into this and give it a try and i'm going to let y'all know what this tastes like really quick and simple Jeannie young staff you all never had a double fudge chocolate cake you better make yourself if you don't you're missing out and it was a piece of cake it was so easy to make get the kids in the kitchen let them help you you know they can mix up the batter when you get the kids in the kitchen with you at a young age they'll understand what the art of cooking is when they get older but if you never get them in the kitchen they'll have no entrance in cooking when they get older and they won't understand anything about cooking they'll love to lick the beaters and you know lick the cake bowl the mix out of the cake bowl 
And this part right here, they can help you with this as well. One beautiful cake, perfect for Friday night's dessert. Dessert. <laughs> dessert. I kind of mix dinner and dessert together. <laughs> Friday night dessert. Absolutely. Okay, let's keep on turning just like so. And here's the thing if you happen to rip your cake, don't worry. Don't stress out. Don't you dare stress out. Just kind of work around it and be very gentle. It'll work out. I'm going to continue to ice this cake. I'll be back. Okay, everyone, our cake is decorated. Now you take your wax paper, your foil, your parchment paper, whatever you decided to use, and you just kind of pull up in this manner, and you see, it comes off nice and clean. Voila! Let's slice down into this cake. But before we slice down into it, we always have to give thanks to our beautiful Lord and Savior. Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. Lord, we thank you for your love, time, your mercy, and your understanding. Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts. We make you our Lord and Savior. Heavenly Father, we pray that no weapons formed against us shall prosper. And we bind the devil away from us in Jesus' name. Devil, you have no authority over the young family in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the roof over our head, the food, the love, the peace, and the joy that you bring us daily. And we thank you for this beautiful dessert. Amen. Okay, everybody, look at this beautiful cake. Look how tall it stands. It's nice and moist. It's flavorful. Look at the middle. Look at that beautiful double chocolate layered chocolate cake, Jeannie Young style. Oh, this is what you want to have for your next dessert. Don't wait till the holidays. You don't have to wait till holiday time to make this cake. Make it just because you love your loved ones. <laughs> you know, I want to give you all a good visual of what this cake looks like. Give me one second. I'm pouring me some beautiful eggnog right on top of some ice. If you don't like eggnog, get you some nice milk. You have to have one or the other to go alongside this rich chocolate cake. Let me show you the inside of this beautiful cake. Look at this. Make it for your family. Oh, whoo! look at that bad boy. We're going in. You all can have the first bite. Let me know what you think about this recipe right here. Let's turn it on its side. I don't know about you all, but when I have a cake that stands so tall, I always like to stand it on its side. It feels a little bit more secure, right? Let's go in right here. Look just how beautiful. My goodness. Oh, my word. Take a bite of that and let me know what you think in the comment section. Hooey. Mmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Doggone, that's good. Mm -hmm. Can you see how beautifully moist this is? Look at the dark layer right underneath the icing. That's beautiful. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Take another bite of that. If y'all enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you didn't enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time Jeannie Young uploads one of these awesome recipes. Tell your family and friends everything you know about Jeannie Young and what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. And as always, God bless you all. Thank you all for watching. Have a good night. Good night. One more bite. One more bite. Mm, mm, mm. I'm going to finish this whole piece right here. Look at that. Oh, it's so good. Take a little sip of that. Mm, mm, mm. I'm happy. I'm happy right here with this piece of cake. Look at that.